Welcome to part six, a little bonus episode to our first playthrough of Dead Money, a Fallout New Vegas DLC. In the last episode, we reached the end of the DLC, but I had some unfinished business to take care of. As an altruistic player, I wanted to achieve good endings for all of our companions, which we did. But I also wanted to get a good ending for Father Elijah. Maybe help him realize the error of his ways, or at the very least find a way to get him to walk away from the Sierra Madre. So perhaps we could both escape the vault and begin again. But I was not able to do that in the last episode. I tried to reason with Father Elijah, but as soon as he entered the vault, he accused us of betraying him and became hostile. At first I thought this was because I did something wrong, maybe I was rude to him or tested him in a way that I shouldn't have. In reality, there are no good endings for Father Elijah, but there are some unique ones that I think are worth mentioning. Depending on your karma in the Mojave, you can actually side with Father Elijah. If your crimes are on par with that of Elijah's, you can rule the Sierra Madre together and reclaim the technologies of Repcon to destroy the Hoover Dam. This is all lore within the DLC, however, it shouldn't affect your main playthrough if you haven't finished the game, at least from what I understand. If you finish all of Veronica's missions, you can ask Father Elijah about Veronica and receive some unique dialogue about their relationship before he left the Mojave Brotherhood. Although this isn't a unique ending, I do think it's an interesting piece of lore that I wish I had gotten to experience in my playthrough. The other ending I wanted to touch on, and the one that I actually went back and played, is where you manage to trick Father Elijah into stepping into the vault and reading the terminal message Sinclair left for Dean Domino. Of course, when Father Elijah opens this message, he becomes trapped forever in the casino vault. In order to get this ending, the courier needs to pass a series of skill checks and respond to some of Father Elijah's dialogue in a particular way. I found this to be quite tricky. I'm not sure I would have reached this ending organically without following a guide. In this episode, I'll show you what the DLC ending montage looked like for my playthrough and the final words of Elijah that we can hear broadcast from our Pip-Boy, which are the most haunting, hair-raising lines of dialogue that you'll hear in any Fallout DLC. But before we get to that, I just wanted to touch on the unique items we found in the DLC to put a bow on everything we've accomplished. We did get all 37 gold bars thanks to mods, Side note, if you are ever interested to know which mods I'm using, check out the link in the description. Without mods, it's not possible to leave the vault with all gold bars without being over encumbered. Some people in my community have said it's still possible to get all 37 bars without mods. Just know that's kind of a technicality. The game very obviously tries to keep you from taking all the Sierra Madre treasure as part of the moral of the story. There are a number of hollow discs you can get for the vending machines that are both useful in and outside the DLC, especially some of the medical supplies and the hollow rifle mod discs. I also managed to find the Sierra Madre snow globe, most of, but not all, the caravan cards located throughout the map, the hollow rifle, Vera's outfit, and Elijah's outfit. We weren't able to get Dean's tuxedo, which is another unique wearable from the game, because in our playthrough, we kept him alive. That basically sums up my time in the Sierra Madre. I had so much fun, and I'm sad this is one DLC that doesn't let you return once you've left. Now let's take a look at that final message from the Dead Money DLC and Father Elijah's last warning to our courier. Welcome, welcome everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to what? The Sierra Madre? <laughs> We're still here? So you may be asking yourself, why are we here? I thought that we were done with this area. I went back and I replayed the ending to the Sierra Madre um, to trap Father Elijah in the basement. And I really thought that we could listen to his collar But potentially not? I don't know. Maybe I didn't do it. Maybe I... Well, we'll see, because now I'm about to leave, and I think that they'll, like, tell the story of what... 
they'll summarize your experience here and hopefully that will be um we'll figure out what i did because <laughs> i thought i went back and played it and like saved a new save and i also went and i got the snow globe so yeah i just like i had to do that i'm sorry i i felt felt a little bit bad playing it without you guys but I also like had to watch a tutorial how to do it because turns out you just needed to go through specific dialogue options beforehand. And then I didn't realize that you could exit the vault at any time. I thought that it was like locked down or something. To the wasteland. Okay, this path leads from the Sierra Madre back to the Mojave wasteland. You are certain you'll never be able to get back here. Are you sure you want to leave? Yes, return. The survivors of the Sierra Madre thought about gathering oh, at the fountain okay? and waiting for the courier. In the end, the caller's silence made them uneasy, and the fear of turning on each other made them hesitate and leave the goodbyes unspoken. The radio message at the fountain was enough for them, and there was no need to add another farewell on top of all they had suffered. Dog forgot himself, as did the voice that raged within him. After their passing, a new voice spoke within the mutant shell. It was difficult for the voice to remember the two it once was. There was oh, the beast, dog, ending? consumed by hunger. And the other in reverse. The one consumed by control. Both were driven by need for the other. The courier mean? brought them together somehow. Oh. Joined the two into one. All that happened at the Sierra Madre was a faint memory to the new personality, like a flickering light in the clouds of the mind. The new voice did not think of the courier again until the battle at the Divide reached his ears. Mm -hmm. The battle between the two couriers, what? beneath the torn skies and the old what? world flag. Is this a prophecy? Each bearing a message for the other. And the mutant prayed the courier that had saved him had been saved in return. Oh. Dean Domino, entertainer, singer, thief, explored the Sierra Madre not long after he was rescued by the courier. He did? Once he left the theater, the Sierra Madre recognized him as a guest, and many doors opened to him. So he, he had stayed? to admit it had been built to last. During his search, he came across the final records of Vera and Sinclair and realized what happened the night the bombs fell. Ooh. He felt strangely sad for a moment oh, and God. had no idea why. <laughs> what a narcissist. Shrugging it off, his mind turned instead to where the courier had come from. Vegas still survived out there in the Mojave. It's sights, sounds, and casinos, ripe for the taking. D so, Dean, giving the Sierra Madre such a con one man. last nod and a wink, he set off beyond the cloud to begin again. Christine, Ooh, begin mission complete. Again. Found new purpose as the Sierra Madre's warden. She watched over it silently, by choice. What? Over really? Time, the ghost people came to see her as one of the holograms. They would watch silently as she walked among them. Whoa. At times, Christine thought of the courier, who had kept Elijah's hand from her throat. The courier reminded her of the other courier she had met in the Big Empty, and wondered if the two had found each other at last. She did not think of them again until she heard the legends of the Divide. The legends the divide of the Divide, what is that? Where the two messengers, the two couriers, fought beneath an ancient flag at the edge of the world. You heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses. Some foolishness about it lying in the middle of a city of dead. A city of ghosts. Beneath a blood-red cloud. A bright, shining monument, reaching out, luring treasure hunters to their doom. An illusion. A promise.
promise that you can change your fortunes. Begin again. Finding it, though. That's not the hard part. It's okay. letting go. Who is it's that? It's letting go. It's letting go. It's letting go. Was that Elijah that said that? It's letting go. Whoa. Wait a moment. What? Before you go, I... We... <gasps> hope you've enjoyed your stay. Farewells can be a time of sadness. It's very Letting go. Difficult. As a guest of the Sierra Madre, you know that truth more than anyone. Frederick Sinclair believed one's life could be made anew every day. That fortunes were more than the wealth in your hands. Love. Life. Family. Those to care for. And those who will care for you. To those who know these joys, the Sierra Madre holds little they don't already have. Out in the world, beyond these walls. What is this life that lesson we're learning? Is your chance to begin again. I hope you'll return in happier times. Until then, the Sierra Madre. I would love and to. I will hold you in our hearts. Wait a moment. Oh. Before you go. We already left. Oh my gosh. So that's like a a final recording? Was that Christine? Was that the ghost of Vera? Ah, oh, so many questions. That was so beautiful. I hope that you were all happy with that. I, they didn't say anything about Elijah. Let me see. Ooh. <sighs> now, come uh. on. You open up. Open the vault. I can make it worth your while. Think about what you're throwing away. I have other weapons, other technology I can share with you. Oh, gosh. This empty, is dark. I know the way there. I know some of its secrets. If the callers, the callers were a mistake. Oh, I see that now. Why would I kill you? After all you've done, after all we've done together. Are you listening to me? Everything down here, I, I swear, so much you could see, you could rule the wastes with what's down here. Make your own army, reshape the world, and if others disagree, put collars on them. I, I can show you how. Don't you leave me here. You can't do this to me. Oh, Maybe no. Target here. Machine, machine's losing power. No, I, I still have Pip-Boy light. Maybe, maybe. Oh. No, no, no. It, oh my it doesn't work. This is horrifying. Where, where's the door? Can't find the door. Come. Been in worse situations. Find a way out. Oh, no. Somehow. Then find that courier. Ah. Maybe Veronica. No. No, she, she thinks I'm dead. Must be someone. Maybe that other courier. One, other one with a flag on his back. Maybe. No, no, no. Said he'd never come to the Sierra Madre. Oh, good. No way out. Can't. Can't end like this. You. I know you can hear me. <laughs> when you die, courier. I'll be waiting. Oh my gosh. Your grave's gosh. going to look just like this vault. Oh when no. When you die, I'll be waiting here. The Sierra Madre. Waiting. Oh. Holy shit. Oh, that was so creepy. Oh my gosh. Ugh. It just freaks me out. Holy shit. So we got Father Elijah's robes. And since I left him in the vault, I don't know that we get his Goss rifle, unfortunately. Um, but it's a small price to pay for hearing that insane lore, I think. All right, friend, before I send you to the next video in this series, I wanted to say thank you for hanging out with me today. If you haven't yet, subscribe or check out some of my other socials. I'm on Twitch, Discord, Twitter, and I'd love to see you there too. Until next time.